What inspired you to make that first step into politics? I cannot stand injustice. I cannot stand that in all the levels and dimensions that you can imagine. So uh, to not do something is not in my DNA. Uh, when I went to the president of the republic, it was the same thing. It was the first woman, female president in my country, in a country who was Marxist country. So uh, the, where people were telling me, some of them, men, of course, I would never vote for a woman. Women are not capable and competent for that. Uh, my contender saying in the campaign, she's not competent, and so on. So it was very challenging, too. And How did that make you feel? And didn't, oh, with a huge backpack on my shoulders, because I understood it was not a personal issue. It was also, it could be used if I didn't have a good performance during my presidency afterwards, it would be used against all women, you know, so women cannot be. So, and during the opening, uh, some women came from different countries and said to me, you know, you are not only an inspiration, you are an aspiration. But it's not on your image. It's not, I will do this because it will bring me glamour. No, it's because I need, this is things that need to be done. The same thing that made me be involved with many things, to be the president of the republic, the minister of defense and health, and, and now the executive director of UN Women, it's the same thing. This is a so important issue. How do you keep yourself inspired when you are carrying that backpack? Sense of humor always help. And there was one time when I was president, they asked me the same thing. And I said, because there was a moment where the press was very critical. And so I, I said, well, how, how do you don't get depressed? I said, sometimes I don't read the newspapers. And how do you get arrogant? I sometimes I read it. So that's the balance, you know? But the thing is that the sense of humor, I think it's good because sometimes I ask myself, Am I an adrenaline addict, maybe, <laughs> because I cannot help myself. I'm always interested on those kind of things. But really, it's because I believe, you know, you have to have, every day when you wake up in the morning, you have to feel it is worthy what you're doing. And, and that will depend on the fights that you choose to fight, and the struggle that you choose to fight. And what's next for you, do you think? Are you always going to be a, an activist? for women's rights and continue on this great work you're doing with the UN? I will always be an activist for women's rights, for men's rights, for justice in the world, for a better world with more solidarity, dignity, and respect for everyone. I will always be, because for me, the fight for women is also the fight for a better society, a better humanity.